Hello, happy Ask Allison. Um, so today we're gonna talk about what circumstances make sense for you to get your clients to sign a release of information. I'd like to thank Therapy Notes first for um, uh, sponsoring the podcast. Um, okay, I would say almost any time you refer your clients to a service, I would recommend getting a release of information from them. So if you're referring them to testing, psych testing, if you're referring them to a couples counselor and you're an individual counselor or vice versa, if you're referring them to a psychiatric provider for medications, I would have them sign a release of information. I would also recommend a release of information for their current medical provider. If they're on any psychotropic meds, um, if, their health is impacted by their presenting concern. We see this a lot with eating disorders, substance abuse, often with anxiety and depression, there are some psychosomatic symptoms. Um, or if their medical diagnosis or medication may be impacting their mood. So kind of looking at that interplay of what uh, a primary care provider or a gynecologist or an OB, um, might be providing and how that might intersect with what you're doing with the client and vice versa. Um, this allows not just for better collaboration of care and um, making sure gaps are filled in with your client, but it also allows these people that you're collaborating with to become referral sources for you. So we have some templates in the Abundance Party and the What to Say When course for contacting collaborators that have yielded a lot of referrals for me. And it really is just like about collaborating about the client. It's not salesy or let me tell you about how great my practice is. It's like, here are the things you need to know about what's going on with your client. Um, so we have that in the What to Say When course. And if you're interested in the party, if you're watching this on May 15th, this is the last day you can join for the $39 a month rate. After this, after today, it goes up. So if you've been on the fence about the party, now is the time to hop on in. You can do that at abundanceparty.com. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day.